Sorry guys, I kind of abandoned. Sorry, boom up. I was busy this summer. I was busy half the summer, so I'm sorry. But we're getting close to the Sonic. We're getting close to that all important Sonic party that's supposedly supposed to be talking about the new game. But I swear, if we do, if we get them trollish tricks, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be so mad. So today I just felt like talking about Sonic before doing it. Before doing another Steven Universe thing. I love Steven Universe, but I do love Sonic too. Um, so I was like, I was just sitting around last night, you know, just thinking about video stuff, my life, various things that entail that. But, um, so, anyways, I was like looking at, um, Sonic Guru. He was, uh, it was an item box video. And these people talking about like anti Sonic uh, haters. How, uh, you know, how some people will be like, oh, if you mention Sonic, a lot of people will be like, hey, <laughs> yeah, it sucks. See, now, with me, I was never really bullied um, when it came to Sonic. <laughs> Hell, I was never really bullied, period. But the only time, I, I mean, like, any other. T because, like, if I ever really. Because when I get. When, when someone, like, supposedly, when I, you know, because mostly I can hold my ground with most people, so it's like, you know, it's not like, you can, you, it's not like no one can ever bully me, because really you can't. You know, the only, the closest thing is, like, when I was dealing with these two fucking idiots on the bus. One, you know, I talked about me being a gamer, me having a monitor lizard, which I did have. A whole bunch of other shit, and um, you know they were just being a bunch of dicks. Uh, you know, just every time I spoke, said something, they were like, "Oh, he's talking about a monitor lizard." I don't know I wanted to choke both of those assholes, literally. <laughs> and you probably like Bugsy. <laughs> Wasn't those back in the days where you used to actually get into fights and you did it secretly? No, that was before all that. That that happened like way, way before history. <laughs> Junior high, but, the, but that's neither here nor there. So no one, t no one talk about it, okay? But I'll say this: people, if if people keep talking about like Sonic, if you love Sonic, right? Don't let people, don't let these assholes. That freaking love, that freaking, they like to say, oh, Sonic's repetitive. No, motherfucker, you play freaking Call of Duty and Battlefront. Those, that shit is repetitive. Freaking Call of Duty's so repetitive, they had to put it in space. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Sonic, Sonic, maybe, the same story sometimes, destroy, the V Dunder Eggman, at least it changes the formula up every now and again. Hell, that's why I like Sonic Lost World, because Robotnik is not the main villain in this until, like, the very end. Which I was like, why is he the main villain now? Why did he want to be the main villain now? But that's neither here nor there. But, um, you know. I'm like, you know, I like, you know, I'm like... You know, people, if you if you get bullied for liking Sonic, you know, it's, it's those motherfucking people's fault. It's the people who are bullying you and saying, like, they suck. Just because they don't like it or understand why other people like, uh, why we like Sonic. Well, that's, the, that's them. That's on them. If you keep loving Sonic, keep loving Sonic. No wins. No motherfucker can never tell you to stop unless you really feel like you should stop liking Sonic. But you should only do it because you want to. You know, and that's why I kind of, um, there was this one Sonic fan on DA that was trying to persuade everybody to get off of Sonic just because he was getting off of it. And I, you know, I understand if you're going to be leaving the, if you're going to leave uh, the fandom behind and everything about Sonic behind because Rise of Lyric. But don't persuade everybody else to go your way just because you had a bad time with a freaking spinoff game. A game that wasn't even really connected to the main canon of Sonic. 
I mean, hell, I kind of I wanted to believe that Rise of Lyric was good, but it's a spin. It's it's a fucking different game in a different universe. What 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 were we all really expecting? You know. But you know you should you know but guys you should totally leave on your own terms and don't persuade anybody else to leave because just because Rise of Lyric happened doesn't mean a lot of us are just gonna leave like that. Hell, I hate when people bring up 06. Hell, sometimes I hate it when I bring up 06. Like, oh, 06 happened. Motherfucker, we know 06 happened. Hell, some of us have been trying to forget for, for, for years. For fucking years. You assholes always want to bring it up. <laughs> well, fucking Call of Duty happened. What if I just said, oh, well, uh... Modern Warfare happened, uh, Black Ops 2 happened, that was not very good, but you guys still played it anyway. Like, what if I did that shit? You know? Or if like, I brought up something like a uh, games, uh, game franchise you love that had one bad game that ha that's infamous everywhere. Yeah, it's not, it's not a fucking good feeling. You know, but I say, if you if you love Sonic, just enjoy enjoy doing what you do. Fuck everybody else. Don't <laughs> be stupid idiots. You like Sonic, you like Sonic. There ain't no there ain't nothing anybody can say. They don't get it. They don't understand. The trolls just want to get a rise out of us because you know we're the Sonic fandom. And we're prone to like exploding on people and stuff. But you know what? You know, for all the trolls, fuck you guys. You're, you you rather you rather just spend your videos trolling people because you can't do anything else. And I really feel sad for all you fucking trolls that can't do shit but break other people. I feel bad, I pity you all. I pity all you fucking Sonic trolls out there. Because that's all you can do. That is basically all you can do. That's pretty much all you have. Nothing else. You know, I like Mario the Plumber. Mario the Plumber, like again, the reason I don't do um with choking the chicken goes wrong anymore. Because, you know, it, you can only do that joke so many times. I mean, not saying the series is completely gone. It's not. It's just like, you know, I've done that joke. I've done that joke where he's, you know, like I'm talking about how he's fabbed with Rosalina, and I've seen how he actually can do legit reviews. And like, for most trolls, all they have is just, you know, their fucking troll persona. But like, um, what, what, um. Mario Plummer has, he can actually do legit reviews. I'm like, and I always, and to this very day, I just don't understand why he'd, why he'd, like, choose to be, choose to be all Mario the Plumber, where he could just be the guy who does actual factual reviews. But, that's on him. But most of you other trolls, that's all you got. And that, <laughs> to, for me, just to me, that's kind of sad. That's, that's pretty much all you have. That's all you can say that you do on the internet. That's all you can say you do on YouTube. Just making fun of people just because you can. And I like Leafy where it's all satire. Nah, you motherfuckers just want to rise out of people and that just gets on my nerves. But uh, another question people ask me. Bugsy, was like, like, do you think Sonic would ever get with Amy? Well... I looked at the Sonic Christmas special by Ashman because someone sent it to me. I was like, maybe if Amy was more like this and not like super fucking crazy like he's been in the games. But even then, that's kind of being toned down lately. So, yeah, I could probably see Amy with Sonic in the game kind of if she like toned it down a little bit. See, that's the thing I like about Boom Amy. She's her own character. You guys would say, oh, well, she's like, she's this and this and this and this and so preachy. I'm like, no, she's her actual own character, guys. 
Sonic is not the driving force in her in her pursuits. Sonic does like Amy in the Boom universe, and and um, so you know Amy does like Sonic. It's just they won't admit it to each other, and it kind of reminds me of uh, a little bit about Ron Ron and Akane, and I kind of like that. I kind of like that angle. You know. One won't admit to the other that they actually find the other attractive. So it's kind of, it works in that way, but uh, you know it was always one sided in the games for me with you know because Sonic never really you know even if people thought that Sonic was interested interested in Amy and like this one ish this one thing by supposedly Sega said that. Sonic does like Amy, and that's the reason he runs more. Okay. But really, guys, to me, the only... The only, like... The only true thing is that I think that... I think that, you know... The thing that I really think is that... Yeah, probably Sonic does, or... I don't know. It could be possible. I just, you know, they just don't show it, or they don't want to show it, and I think it's better in, I think it's better, I think it's better in Sonic Boom, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry you guys, like, seriously, like, everybody was jumping down Dylan Thomas's throat, Dylan Thomas's throat about, like, the pairings and whatnot, you guys gotta understand, we gotta, you, you guys gotta understand, even, even people who don't ship have their opinions. Hell, I ship, I ship Lapis and Peridot with Steven. With Steven, guys. I know it ain't gonna happen. But I do it anyway because it's, you know, Peridot and Steven is a cute little pairing. It's cute. It's adorable. Um, with Lapis and Steven, it's more, I feel like it's more of a kind of, you know, even if, if they were to get together, it'd be more of a mutual kind of thing, you know? And plus, I'm liking Sundaria Labs is pretty, pretty well. <laughs> it's kind of cute. I like that. Anyways, um... So, yeah. Um... A few other things. You know, guys, shippers gonna ship. Non-shippers are gonna have their opinions. You just gotta leave it alone. I feel like, you know, us fans, you know, we have a bunch of Sonic haters and anti-Sonic fans, but we do fight amongst each other to, like, say, which one's the best Sonic game is, because I remember back in the day, the modern, cla the modern and classic fans would fucking throw shit fits at each other every day on DeviantArt, on the Sega forums. It was chaos. And not the kind of chaos I'm actually... Actually, good, good. Not actually the chaos that I'm good with. It was just, it was just stupid shit. Like people would go back and forth. We had, we had like these classic fans that are like old, like older dudes crying out the woodwork, telling these little kids that they're stupid for liking modern Sonic. And we had fans that, fans that were classic fans that would fucking trip about. Freaking green eyes, Richard. Fuck you, Richard. <laughs> you know, it was crazy. I feel like the fan is more calmed down, a little bit more stable than it was before. I mean, yes, most of us fans are split up now because some of us want adventure, a new adventure game, while the others are kind of like wanting their own thing, you know, stuff like that. And I'm pinning all my hopes on this freaking Sonic party to actually show us a little something about the game. I, you know, it's not the fact that I'm mad that they didn't show, they didn't talk about the game once. It just worries me that they're that they're holding off for this long. They are really holding off for this long for a new Sonic game, and it really st it's really starting to get to me. You know. Are they, where they try, I mean, the thing they could do is just give us a little teaser, even all, all the other Sonic games did that before, giving us little teasers, 
before they gave us a full-on trailer. Hell, Sonic Unleashed did that shit. But you know, like I'm just, I'm just worried they're gonna pull some troll ass bullshit, and we ain't gonna get any, we're not really gonna get any word about the game until like later on. To like like down the holiday season and it's just gonna it's gonna piss me off because I'm gonna see this little I'm gonna see this little teaser trailer and the moment I do I'm gonna make a video saying what the fuck Sega I really have high ho and another thing I really have high hopes for Razor and Leafia games because I really think they got it going. I mean, I don't know what's going on with the Dreamcast Reloaded thing. I haven't really checked on them in, like, in ages. I hear that they are getting another proposal up, and we'll see how that goes. But I'm not, I'm, like, I'm not really putting all my hopes on, on uh, Dreamcast Reloaded. I'm hoping, but I'm not pinning all my hopes on it just, just yet. But I am... Hoping that whichever Sega chooses, you know, Sega gets back in making, you know, actual consoles. Because I just want Sega to go back to the way things were, even though it's like, it's not coming back. And Tech, and tech Review USA is like, oh, it's not coming back, deal with it. I'm like, if it does come back, what you gonna say then, Tech Review USA? What you gonna say? What you gonna say? And they actually start doing doing a lot better. What then? What then? All you naysayers out there. That's all I got to say. But back to Sonic. Um. So, but yeah, I think it could be possible for for Amy and Sonic to get together in the game canon. But Amy really has to like literally grow up because, like. She just goes like, "Oh, I love you, Sonic," and Sonic don't. You know, Sonic don't want all that. Sonic don't want like Amy to smother him with love. I mean, some people don't like that shit. That's what it is. Hmm. <sighs> But do I think, but again, you guys always ask me, do I think Amy and Sonic can get together? I say it's possible. You guys say, like, what do I do with so anti-Sonic, <coughs> anti-Sonic fans and Sonic haters? Fuck them. No, not actually fuck them. Guys, no, no, no. D don't actually fuck them. I'm I mean, fuck them in, like, the forget them kind of sense. Yeah, put the dildos down. There, there you go. There you go. There you go. Jim, no! <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> but honestly, though. Just fuck them, because they, they just want... Because either they want to get a rise out of you... Or they just want to be like, oh, they just want to try and make you feel bad for liking Sonic. But if you like Sonic, you like Sonic. There ain't no fucking, there ain't no fucking, like, there's no, you know, they can't make you feel bad about it if you don't fucking want to. They, they can't make you feel bad about it if you really do love it. I mean, like, one of the guys said on, um, you know, um, item box, you know, if you get some entertainment out of it, like who cares if anybody, if anybody has some objections to it? Because really, it's what you like. Regardless, it's always going to be what you like. So as I say, always remember that. And for all you trolls out there, just go fuck, go do your thing. We'll do ours. It it just sends me that's all you guys got in your little arsenal. None of you try to do anything none of you try to do anything original. None of you 
Now, if you try to do anything original, you just do the same thing your other troll buddies do because that's all you guys know. While the rest of us are making Sonic fan projects and doing other things, you guys are just sitting there going like, mm, let's go, let's go mess with another group of, let's go mess with another group of Sonic fans or Undertale fans or whatever. Because we, because we don't have something, we don't have something called self-control that filter because that doesn't exist in our world. Ugh. Oh, god dang, Tobuscus finally made a video. I think he's out of his funk now. But guys, you know, I just want to say one thing. You know, freaking, I want to say one thing, boomers. Yeah, you didn't think I'd say that again after all this time, but remember, we love Sonic, okay? We ain't gonna let no, we ain't gonna let no asshole tell us that Sonic, you know, we're not gonna like Sonic just because they say we love Sonic. And yeah, the fandom's a little bit stabler now than it's ever been. I mean, I've heard, I've, you know, no freaking classic and modern fans are starting any bullshit. We're just all kind of in waiting. Waiting to see what Sega's gonna do. Waiting to see what the side game is even gonna be. And then from there, we'll just speculate and everything, but until, you know, it's like, it's kind of like a ceasefire when you think about it. All the Sonic fans, whatever type of Sonic fan that we are, we're just all just chilling. We're waiting. It's like the calm before the storm, almost. That's what it is. But, yeah, that's all I really have to say about Sonic uh, right now. I made, another, I made another video. It's kind of the last sneak peek of Forever Rivals before... Uh, you know, everything, um, before I finish with everything. Some of that stuff in the uh, sneak peek is subject to change, so it might all change. Probably not, but it might. So, yeah, that's all I really got. And also, let's hope that the Sonic movie is going to be something, something along the lines of some kind of Saturday movie. Please. Please, for the love of God, please! I'll see you guys later.